How right greetings and salutations, my name is Kyle McFire, and welcome back for more Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. In the last episode, we made it to Lofty Peak, and in this episode, we're going to be going on to the tower of, or this, rather, the stairway to Zenithia. But the way to get there is not, uh, quite obvious, and I forgot how to do it, so I'm hoping this is the right way. Hmm. I think this is it. Uh, nope, I've completely overshot it. <laughs> Silly me, you clumsy bastard. Well, that was actually a good opportunity to just kind of poke around for a bit, because, you know, you sometimes you never really get to exploring, so you might as well. And then, of course, you know, it's going to be the game kind of kind of telling you, like, oh, hey, maybe you should get off your carpet and explore, you lazy bastard. You see? There we go. It's right there. But we even got to look around, and I think that's, uh, I think that's nice. I feel like that's something we could all really appreciate. Alright, so there's actually some really cool monsters we can grab in here, too, including the King Cure Slime. At a 1 in 64 chance, it's not a very likely recruit, but it's possible, and it comes with Omni Heal right off the bat. Speaking of that, one King Cure Slime. Let's see if we can't get it for ourselves. Uh... I'm gonna go for you. Let's sizzle the air ducts, get a crackle going, and one flame breath. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, I want to knock the air ducts out real fast before maybe uh, the King Cure Slime gets to using Omni Heal. And of course, I'm not really digging that drain magic either. Boy, sizzle was not the uh, not the way to go with that, huh? Come on. But flame breath sure is. <laughs> Thank you, King Killer Stein, for not beating me while I'm sitting here just trying to get my bearings, Gemini. I'd love to be able to recruit one of these right off the bat. Wouldn't that be something? Of course not. <laughs> You'll say I burned all my luck just trying to get the. Uh, or just getting so lucky getting the regular Cure Slime. Who still hasn't even gotten multi-heal yet, but, you know, we're not going to complain about that. That would be foolish. Ooh, and we get an Yggdrasil Leaf. Not bad. Alright, uh, I want to see if I can fire out the Bat and Binnacle real quick. I should really make this, uh less awful to go through. I feel like there's got to be some way I can organize that. Third level. Okay. There's a mini metal here that's on the fifth level. So I want to be sure to get that, and it's the only one. Uh, stuff we can get in here are like the Yggdrasil Leap we just got, a Seed of Strength, the TNT ticket, the mini metal, the thing that we've come here for, and one other... and the Diamond Achilles. Which are an upgrade to the regular Achilles that we, you know, can't really do much with right now, but... You know, once we get to Bora back, it'll sure be nice. I'm not sure if the Diamond Achilles are the top upgrade to the Achilles. There might be, like, one more, like, Orit Shalcom Achilles or something. But I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. Let's see what else we got. We can also get, a. Uh liquid metal slimes here. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, that's, I think it's just the area outside of it. So, never mind. Don't quote me on that. See, this one's gotta be the, uh, fifth floor, yeah? Yeah, that has gotta be the mini metal over there. So, let's hope we can get to it. Because I'm kind of just poking my way through this dungeon blind-ish. Like, I've beaten this before, but, yeah, I just straight up have no memory of a lot of these places. Cool, we got what we needed. I'm not too concerned about the Diamond Achilles, because even when I do use Deborah, there's something better she can equip. Which we'll discuss when it becomes pertinent. By the way, the encounter rate here is very, very low. So, you really don't have to worry too hard about it. Oh, 
Like, if you're under-leveled. Though, I don't know. Like, I'd kind of like the encounter rate to be a little higher, just so we can get more King Cure Slimes. Because, while I don't think this is the only area they pop up in, it's definitely the first area, and maybe the best area. Though, I think they pop up towards the end of the game, but by the, by the time you get to the end of the game, you don't need it as much. But, and again, it's always good for post-game, too. All I'm saying is, King Cure Slimes are not elected, they are there through birthright. I just wonder where those diamond acrylics are. And we got some gargoyles. I like uh, the gargoyle design. Okay. Okay. That sure was fun. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. Fuck these gargoyles. Stupid bitches. I meant to use Crackle. Oh my god, it did a shitload of damage to Sigma. Uh, I suppose I can say this now, too. Uh, full screen, the uh, guys have been partnered with for a long time. Uh, dropped me. Which I talked about last time, uh, but I've been officially dropped, so I just applied for a YouTube partnership and they gave it to me immediately, so... I mean, and I mean, like, immediately. They got back to me, like, in the hour, pretty much. Nice. That was a good level, Sig. I feel like I can't stop... Like, if I just keep saying Sigma, like, my cat's gonna run out and be like, Hello, Father! It is me! If I drop... Oh, I figured that would be a drop. Interesting. I should probably be paying attention to this, uh, area, huh? Okay, we can always come back for the Diamond Achilles. It, it'd just be faster to finish the dungeon at this point. Hold up, wait a minute. I was hoping the door- Is that Erdrich's symbol on that? <laughs> Hello there! Well, it really wasn't all that hard. My god. Cool. It's kind of similar to Dragon Quest uh, 4, where we needed this uh, magma staff in order to keep going with the game. So that's kind of cool. But not only is it just something really good in general. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> he was a ghost! So this is going to be all the way in here. Yeah, let's transfer this one over to our a good girl. Uh, just need these stone fangs. Cool, so that's equipped. And we can use it as an item in battle. And I might as well use that strength seed, huh? Uh, Sigma, get buff. Sigma's going to need it more than anyone because uh, while there are better... While there are better weapons out there, I'm just not going to give them to Sigma. Because, you know. Ooh, not bad. I'm not going to give them to Sigma because I love keeping him exclusive to the uh, Zenithian sword. Because that feels like that that's his sword. He deserves it. And yeah, we're going to pump up our kids a bit. We're not going to not phrase it like that again. One cast of evac. See, puts us right there. Alright, so now let's go back up, and we're gonna want to stick to the left side. Which I believe we did last time. I don't know how I managed to miss it, I guess. Let's see. From here, climb up. Okay, cool. Yep, uh, we just had to go right here. I just managed to miss it. What do you got, good sir? How? Oh, wow, I didn't realize that they'd have unique, uh, disgu- Uh, a unique dialogue for that. That's really cool. 
And here we get the Diamond Achilles, which, again, only for Deborah. So if you don't have Deborah, that room is literally just used to get something to sell. That's interesting. I'm surprised they didn't give, like, one of, like, the like the hooligan monsters to use the Achilles. It, maybe this doesn't spawn if you didn't pick Deborah? I'd have no clue. Cool. Yeah, I wonder if uh, the Magma Staff can hit this guy. Oh, it just cast Bang. That's useless. If it was Boom, maybe. But that's kind of my issue with a lot of these, is by the time you get something... Ooh, we got Oomph. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, by the time you get something like that, it's like, well, why would I use this? Like, like it's just useless at that point. Alright, so now we're going to be going to the Eastern Continent. But uh, first, I feel like we should heal up, because we're looking a little... Uh, we look out to the not welcome in. That's a, that's a furry joke. James, you watch. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I'm not gonna, we're not going to bully our man. I wonder what my kids would have to say about this, uh, about this lovely young woman in the bunny outfit. I might actually just sell the Diamond Achilles, because I don't think I'm going to use them. And hey, money's money. Oh, they already know the girl. Well, shoot. Alright, uh, what do you think would be fastest to go to Gotha? So I found out something. Uh, the mobile versions of Dragon Quest V, the zoom and evac spells are only uh, 1 MP. That's really cool. Well, it is if you just believed in me for once in your life, game. Jesus. It's like, oh, sorry, there's one tree vaguely near me. Guess we can't fly, children. Alright. And here's the place we're going to use it. I think you could just be, like, vaguely around. Yep. I don't know how far back you have to go to be able to use it. But I guess just best to jam yourself right up. Golly. I like that something. Kind of would have been nice if there was like an anime cutscene like a uh, Chrono Trigger, but oh well. So let's go in here. And this is the Diggery Pokery. Which I'm not quite sure why it's named that, but hey, whatever works. I wonder what this was called in the Super Famicom version. Haha, <laughs> look at that, everybody. Comics asking what something is in the Famicom version. Alright, so that was kind of just to teach us how these could be used. So, let's just poke around with the cards. Nice and fast. But now's when we gotta start thinking about how we can use them. But first, we get some coins. A decent amount, too. Not bad. I probably should have checked a little further down. Huh? Nope, it panned out. Ooh, we get a treasure chest out of it, too. <laughs> get a mini metal. Is that it? Yes! That's, uh... It. Third treasure chest. I guess that one was counting. Oh, can I not go back to get that chest now? Oh, shoot. What could it be? Seed of li- uh, might be a seed of life. Yes, that one's a seed of life down there. But, uh... I missed it. Though I wonder... And here's some Hyper Pyrexy. Can we recruit these ones? I think this is one of the ones we can recruit. No, it is not. No, the only things we can recruit in here are the Warhogs and the, uh... Hades Helms, which I didn't realize we could recruit. Or I might have, and I just forgot. These guys are really cool. I always thought they were, uh... I always thought they were dope. Ever since Dragon Warrior Monsters. Ooh, they got multi-heal, too. Wouldn't that be lovely? 
We should just be bringing Curitus along with us, because he's not getting any EXP down here, since, you know, we can't bring the, uh... Wait, shoot, that's not what I wanted. Since we can't bring the, uh, cart down here, he's not getting experience. She's lame. I want experience. And there we go. We got a seed of life. Which I believe I'll throw on leaf. So let's just do that now. Not bad. She got 10 whole experience. Or 10 whole HP just for living. Which is nice, because she's very frail. I'm always about giving the spellcasters a little more oomph. Because just because, I don't know. It's the big trope that, well, yeah, it's the white mage archetype. The frail guy who heals. But, you know, let's, let's get a little tanky with that, huh? Whee! Get a little roller coaster tycoon up in here. Which I've never played, but it sounds fun. There was this one, uh, it was kind of like a roller coaster tycoon. It was uh, called Thrillville, and it was on the uh, the PS2. Also, I think it was on the GameCube. Uh, and yeah, it was like a 3D roller coaster tycoon, but it was also kind of like a dating sim almost. Like, you could date. Or you would just, like, you'd talk to someone and play, like, some, like, shitty, like, love-based minigame, and then, like, you shot Cupid arrows out. And then you, uh... <laughs> God, what was it? Like, you could, like, hug the person and be like, Wow, you're really cool, we should date! And then at any point, you could just kiss them, and that was it. That was the allure of it. And I remember that being a part of the marketing, and... Ultimately, it was kind of dumb. Oh, it's the Hex Helmets I was thinking about that I didn't know we could recruit. Yes, that makes sense. These guys can be recruited. God, fuck these curses. Oh, wow, immune to wind. That one's not too common. Can we rec okay. I'm actually quite curious as to what the uh, the Hades helmet is packing. So let me check that real quick. Oh, plus there's a m there's a thing called the Hades helm too, a piece of equipment. All right, it's a one in sixty four chance. So I'm not at all interested in that. Its best thing is that it's uh, you can get Kazing from it at level thirty or level forty. It gets meditation at thirty, dazzle flash at fifteen, sheen at eight, body slam at five, spooky. Yeah, fuck this. This one's useless, and it can't- it can barely equip anything. Oh man, I missed the, the visual spectacle that came with that. Hello, we got a healing item and ghost priest. Does that heal my curse? Is that just the HP? Party's wounds are healed. Yeah, I think that gave me my MP back, too. Yeah, this is nice. I imagine this is probably better in the Super Famicom version. Because, I don't know, dungeons always feel a lot spookier in that one. Uh, nah, we should probably just erase parting ways. I feel like I could always go back and play with a new wife, but... That came out a lot worse than I meant for it to. Absolutely. Well, shit, I just hit the B button instead. Ah, oh, God, I hate when I do that. No. Okay, and we're back. Because <laughs> I am a dumbass. Yeah, let's just switch these points over so we don't have to worry about that. We'll walk it back. Though that one is fine because I want that treasure over there. What could it be? It looks kind of neat. There's nothing I can do, because I don't have long feet. I guess we'll just have to come back for that one. Oh well. Uh, there's a Staff of Salvation in here, so I'm willing to bet that's what that is. What do we got? Mandrake Marauders and Hyperpyrexions. 
Let's give Hocus Pocus a shot. We do have healing right there. I am deathly curious. What could it be? My child just got beaten the fuck up. Alright, here comes Hocus Pocus. Oh yeah, this. Well, at least we... Did we get the experience or all? No, I feel like we just got the for the one that we killed. Yeah, see, use that during a boss and you're in trouble. So, yeah, Hocus Pocus, never gonna seriously use it. Oh boy, that man's having fun. Though before we help this, da uh, this dapper looking gent, maybe we can find a, a staircase. Hmm? Because uh, Homeboy needs the Staff of Salvation. Sorry, buddy. I've got treasure to accumulate. That just looped me all the way around. Oh, well. suppose we can see how to uh, help out with this guy. Aw, oh, Ned Flanders. Well, it just pushes us out of the way, huh? And he's free! <laughs> you good? Sorry we can't check on you. Some terror ceratops have intercepted us. Intercept. Tricera. That has nothing to do with it. I ruined it. Never mind. Screw it. Kill the dinosaurs. I like this design too. I feel like Dragon Warrior Monsters tried to make this design like a bigger thing than it was supposed to be. Like the Spikerus was necessary for some serious endgame designs, or some breeding things, but I also think it just might be because the fusion that is required for it was spiky, and these guys are spiky. So I feel like that could make sense. Ooh, that was a lot of experience. Holy crap. Ooh, and Sigma learned Peep. So now I can see if uh, Treasure Chester... Spiked, so to speak. Twenty years. Ah, Doctor Aegon, huh? <laughs> ah, name looks a little. Uh, I have a story about that one too. What an awful way to put it. Cool. The Zenithian Dr. Agon has joined the squad. I don't know if he helps out or not, but sure is worth a shot. Cool. So this ought to bring us to that uh, staircase. Because I want my Staff of Salvation. If it's anything like the one I'm thinking about from Dragon Quest VI... This one will cast mid-heal whenever you use it as an item in battle. Yeah, so let's give that one to, uh... You know what, it's actually probably best on her. Since she's the one I would probably be using mid-heal from anyway. Or, most likely full heal, but... Hey, at least with this I don't have to burn MP. You can't beat that, really. It's one of the few times in this game that it's actually been worthwhile to, uh... Use an item in battle. Though it comes much earlier in 6, and as a result, it's much more useful there. In fact, by the time you get it, right when you get it in 6, it's probably uh, one of the most useful items in Dragon Quest. But we'll worry about that when we get to 6. Probably not right after this, but... Soon enough. Soon enough. I like 6. It was actually really the first Dragon Quest experience I had. Well, not counting nine. I did like, oh, that put me right up at the beginning here. That's not as good as I would hope, huh? Ooh, not bad, Leaf. Okay, so Dr. Dragon does nothing. Oh, 
Oh, you don't have that crit. That sure uh, isn't going as smoothly as it could, huh? Damn, she got a lot of HP there. Is she, she might have more HP than Sigma at this point. It looks like we have to ride this back down. I don't really know why you'd want to do that. Maybe if you wanted to go back to the healing circle, I guess, but I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this is probably what I'm going to want to switch over. Yeah, it's going to yeet me really far. Oh my god, I didn't... Holy shit, I didn't realize these were new design or old designs. I thought this was unique to Dragon Quest XI. Wow, I really forgot. Oh, I'm really excited. Also a little bummed that uh, this resists wind, but... And also a little bummed that XI didn't have as many creative designs as I thought it did. Cool. Oh my god, I'm really excited about that. Man, speaking of Dragon Quest XI, that Switch version is about to come out, and I am super excited. I am more than ready to drop another uh, $60 on that just to play in 2D mode. I'm really excited about that. Especially since it looks like some of the art might have been like redone for it, because it doesn't look as Super Nintendo Final Fantasy as it did, from what I've seen. But that also might just be me... Uh, not paying attention. Okay, I see what it's going for here. Watch this. Yeah, see? Not quite sure uh, what the purpose of this is, if it was just for Zenithians to deter intruders, but... Or if this was like a mining operation. It is the diggery pokery, after all. Oh, no, I ruined it. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Oh, I didn't think about that. Rhyme any man. Now well, it's fortunately quite easy to fix. And so drop those points. While everyone else beats things to death, you can reliably ensure that everyone else is uh, doing well on healing. Plus, this way we're spending less time using full heal. You really can't beat it. All right, let's do this for real this time. <laughs> Boom. And we're gonna hop in here. I love that it feels like the reward for finishing all this is to get to see a nice view of everything. It's very fun. Love it, love it, love it. Golly, we're still not done, huh? Hmm. Let's just hop in. That's the worst thing that could happen. Uh-oh. Ah, I see what it's going for here. In we go. It's like Thunder Mountain. <laughs> Push me! It's like uh, Devil Survivor 2. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fortunately, this steam engine was here for some reason, and a concussive blow activated it. Uh, uh. Wow, don't like that at all. Holy shit, my stomach dropped just looking at that. <laughs> anyway, now seems like as good a time as any to cut the episode, since it looks like we're in a brand new area, so... What could all this be? Well, find out next time on Dragon Quest V DS. See you guys then.